Hi everyone, it's Sayaka. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to tell you 13 taboos in Japan, things not to do, things you shouldn't do in Japan. Since I am Japanese living in Japan right now, I picked carefully 13 things that we Japanese think really unacceptable. Please check 13 things before you come to Japan. Otherwise, Japanese people would think you are rude or even they would get mad at you. So let's get started. The first one, taboo number one is cutting lines. When you visit Japan, maybe you will often see people wait for their turn in line. For example, when you are waiting for a train on station platforms, at convenience stores, in front of restaurants, at even restrooms, and so on. Almost no one ignores the queuing system because they want to make sure first person in the line can use or receive the service first. So please make sure you don't cut the line. Otherwise, people would get mad at you. Of course, there are some exceptions, so you should check if there is a line or not when it's crowded. Next, taboo number two. Talk loudly and talk on the phone on the train. In Japan, making a noise, for example, talk loudly on a train and bus is really hated by people. Of course, we talk on the train and bus, but we are being careful and talk in a bit small voice. It doesn't have to be too small, but try not to bother people. Also, you shouldn't talk on the phone, on the train and bus. If I were to answer the phone on the train, people would stare at me. In case of emergency, like you really need to answer the phone, you can do that. But you'd better get off the phone as soon as possible by saying, I call you back or something. In this way, almost everyone is trying to keep the quiet space on the public transportation in Japan. So let's try not to bother people with unnecessary noise. Number three, wear shoes indoors. Maybe this is widely known Japanese custom. Don't wear shoes indoors when visiting Japanese home. When you enter Japanese home, you need to take off your shoes at the entranceway. Out outdoor shoes make the room dirty, so they should be replaced with indoor slippers. Other than at home, you need to take off your shoes when you enter Ryokan too. Ryokan is a Japanese-style hotel. Usually, the staff at Ryokan guide you when you arrive, so it should be easier to follow this custom there. So not very often, but sometimes you need to do this at restaurant too. For example, when you use restaurant room, floor with tatami mats, your shoes has to be removed before sitting. So please be careful about that. If you are not sure, maybe it's better to ask the staff. By the way, if you are staying at a hotel, not Japanese style one, you don't, you don't have to do that. Okay, taboo number four, littering. Japan has laws prohibiting littering just like other countries. Although the law has not Super severe punishment, it's widely known that 
the city in Japan is very clean, right? I would say it's because littering is recognized as a very rude behavior among Japanese. People are looking for trash can whenever they have trash and put them in the trash can. So don't litter in Japan. Please put your garbage in the trash can. Even though there are more and more trash can uh, set up in Japan these days, sometimes you may get trouble finding trash can on the street. If you can't find them, bring the garbage to your home or hotel you stay. You might feel annoying, but please avoid littering in Japan. So number five, taboo number five is walking while eating in crowded place. So walking while eating in crowded place is also recognized as rude behavior in Japan. It depends on the place you do, but usually you better not do that in crowded place because you might trouble someone by putting stains on their shirt or something. So it's better to stop and eat. In that way, you don't bother other people. So by the way, have you known that drinking on the street is legal in Japan? That's so nice, right? <laughs> so if you love drinking, Please try this in Japan. It's so much fun. But again, you better not to drink and walk in crowded place. And I recommend to enjoy your drink at some park or drink while taking a walk along the river in Japan. I do that sometimes. It's so comfortable, especially when the when it's warm season, so please try that. So again, please don't forget to take your trash home or put it in the trash can after you enjoy eating and drinking. So one more thing, you shouldn't eat on the train either. The reason is the same as mentioned previously. Also, some people hate the smell of food on the train because it could be too strong. But you can eat in Shinkansen bullet train. The Shinkansen seat has the table so you can pull down the table and use that after you sit. So you can enjoy your lunchbox called Ekiben using the table if you want and drinking. It's very comfortable on Shinkansen. So, taboo number six is have crazy party outside. So most of the travelers to Japan are not like this, but sometimes they are noisy drunk tourists. For example, I've seen this situation a group of tourists on the street who came to Japan for watching sports competition. They were so excited after the competition and very drunk. They were having party outside, singing songs loudly and so on. So obviously this behavior is disturbing to the residents of the neighborhood, right? So this kind of situation is not common thing in Japan at all. I mean, noisy, drunk people having party outside. People like to live in quiet places and don't want to be rude in Japan. That's why drunk people having a crazy party outside are recognized as super crazy people and really hated by Japanese. So please drink responsibly in Japan. Enjoy drink, but don't bother people. 
So, taboo number seven is cough and sneeze without wearing a mask. I've seen that don't blow your nose in public in English website and some people maybe think it's taboo in Japan but I don't think it's really taboo as long as you use tissue or don't make someone uncomfortable it's totally fine but Japanese people would hate to see someone sneeze or cough without wearing a mask rather than blowing nose. In Japan, people often think it's rude that even though you caught a cold, you don't wear a mask, face mask. So in some other countries, perhaps wearing mask is a rare thing to do, but not in Japan. It's a common thing to do in order to avoid giving anyone cold. But sometimes there is a different reason, by the way. A lot of Japanese women wear face masks to hide their natural face without makeup. But anyway, it's highly recommend to wear a mask, especially when you have a cold in Japan. If you don't have cold but want to sneeze or cough, please cover your mouth with your hand or with your clothes like this. Okay, so next taboo number eight is stand on the right side of escalator. In Tokyo, people stand on the left side when they get on the escalator and leave the right side open so that those in a hurry can pass. So please don't stand right side of the escalator but stand left side. In that way you will not block the way for busy people. It is custom in almost everywhere in Japan but in the Kansai region it's opposite. In Kansai area, you need to stand right side and leave the left side open. Kansai region means Osaka, Kyoto, Nara, Hyogo prefecture, those places. So please be careful about the difference. It's a little bit confusing, right? But if you don't know which way you need to stand, you can just look around like which side people are standing on the escalator, then decide. So very crowded escalator is common thing in big city like Tokyo. So please make sure you know this custom before you go. Next, taboo number nine. Walk side by side and block the sidewalk. While traveling, it sometimes happens that people are engrossed in and talking to friends or looking at map on the street. At such time, please pay attention to this. You should not walk side by side and don't block the sidewalk. Even though the place is not so busy, walking side by side at narrow street is not a good thing in Japan. As long as you block the way, other people would be feeling irritated. So some behavior blocking somebody's way would be hated by people in Japan. So please be careful. So taboo number 10. Wear too much scent. So I would say wearing perfume or cologne in Japan is not as popular as one in other countries. We do, we do that, but not so much. That's why you can notice immediately if somebody is wearing so much perfume on the street in Japan. So 
perhaps normal, normal amount of perfume for people from other countries is not always the same for Japanese. Maybe it's too much. So, especially when you are going to Japanese restaurant, you should be careful about this. People could be disgusted while eating, while eating if a person next to you is wearing too much scent, too much perfume. So, also, some Japanese traditional dishes have sour flavor. So too much perfume easily has bad influence on those dishes. Please put that in your mind. Next, taboo number 11. Worship a shrine or temple with your hat on. There are so many shrines and temples in Japan. Right? And I would say almost every tourist coming to Japan visit at least one of these. Some travelers might be anxious about, ma about the manners when they visit shrines and temples. But don't worry, I teach you the simplest manner there. Which is, don't worship a shrine or temple with your hat on. So please make sure to take off your cap or hat before you worship. So there are so some other manners for shrines and temples, but please remember this minimum required thing. It's easier, right? Okay, so next taboo number 12 is get into hot spring before showering first. Are you planning go to onsen, hot spring in Japan? If you go there, make sure you wash your body before getting into the bathtub. In Japan, we are supposed to wash ourselves outside the bathtub. bathtub. Also, please do not dip your Wash clothes in the communal bath. Japanese often fold the washcloth and put it on their head so it don't get wet. Or just put the washcloth it on the edge of the bathtub. So by doing those things, we try to keep the bathtub clean as much as we can. So please keep that in your mind too. Okay, this is the last one, taboo number 13. Exposed tattoo in onsen, hot spring. So unlike younger people, older people in Japan still tend to think, tend to feel, having a tattoo is kind of scary. It's because th those people feel tattoo is associated with Yakuza, Japanese Mafia. Actually, some Yakuza had one, but most of Japanese people don't have one. And older people might be surprised or they are scared when they see people with tattoo. Also, you will see warning notice which refuses people with tattoo at a lot of Japanese facilities like onsen and pool and stuff. So if you have a tattoo and want to visit hot spring, public pool and beach, those places in Japan, please check if tattoo is allowed, allowed or not before you go. I've heard that there are some tattoo friendly facilities in Japan, so I recommend to check them online or something. Okay, so that's all for 13 taboos in Japan. I hope you guys enjoyed learning Japanese culture and taboos. And I hope you guys have a wonderful trip to Japan. And don't forget 
those 13 things before you go. Otherwise, you might get trouble. So, thanks for watching my video today. I will tell you more tips for Japan trip in the future video. So, please subscribe to my channel. And if you like, please thumbs up. And thank you again. And you guys have amazing day. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.